Hello, I'm Chika Ohata, Associate Professor in the Department of Dermatology at Kurume University School of Medicine. Our department has performed substantial research on autoimmune bullous diseases for over 15 years. I was the principal investigator for the study on linear IgA bullous dermatosis, LABD, without linear immunoglobulin deposition other than IgA at the basement membrane zone in direct immunofluorescence. We did a study because we noticed that LABD lacks common diagnostic criteria. In fact, some investigators believe that exclusive linear IgA deposition with no other immunoglobulins or complement deposition at BMZ in DIF is mandatory. Whereas others believe that concurrent weak IgG deposition at BMZ in DIF can occur. However, in the latter scenario, patients may be diagnosed with bullous pemphigoid, linear IgA IgG bullous dermatosis, or epidermolysis blossa acquisita. Therefore, we thought it was important to study clinical manifestations and serological findings in patients with subepidermal blisters with only IgA deposition at the BMZ in DIF. We retrospectively collected data for 101 patients who met these criteria and excluded patients who showed linear IgG and or IgM deposition at BMZ in DIF. This study confirms the heterogeneity of odd antigens in LABD. Among the 101 patients, 54 had IgG anti-BMZ antibodies detected by either indirect immunofluorescence, immunoblotting, or enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays. No statistical differences in clinical manifestations were found between the IgG antibody possessing group and the remaining group. Approximately 50% of this cohort exclusively had IgA autoantibodies, and the diagnosis of LABD is clear. However, the diagnosis of the remaining half cohort may be complicated. These patients could be diagnosed with linear IgA IgG bullous dermatosis or simply LABD. If these patients are diagnosed with LABD, then Consistency might dictate that patients with linear IgA and concurrent weak IgG deposition in BMZ in DIF should be diagnosed with LABD. We still do not have the complete answer to this perplexing diagnostic question. Consensus for LABD diagnostic criteria is urgently desired, even though it may be arbitrary. Thank you.